We developed a profile on Mr. Drips, and we started to develop kind of a pattern on him of what his day was like, what his routine was, and we were looking for a way to, to get that biological sample. The plan was to go out and uh, surreptitiously collect his DNA just to verify that we had the right person, uh, so sent another detective team this time to Caldwell. It was a lot of hours of sitting in your car and just waiting, just always on the edge of your seat waiting for that thing to happen that was going to you know, give us what we needed and what we wanted. He threw a cigarette butt out of the window of his truck. By the time the detectives ran out into the road, more cars had driven by and blown the cigarette butt a little bit, and there were a whole bunch of cigarette butts on the ground, and we couldn't tell which one belonged to who. We thought we had it, and like anything, it's, success isn't, isn't as great unless you taste a little bit of defeat, I think. They had to go back to surveillance mode. They watched and followed for about another 24 hours uh, before they got another crack at it. Another cigarette butt went out a window. Uh, they were prepared for it this time, prepared to get it and make sure it was the right one. So they were able to collect that cigarette butt. And then we sent that back to the state lab. And they confirmed that the biological sample that we had taken surreptitiously from Brian Drips was a match for the biological uh, evidence that was left at the crime scene.